Looking to control your logging costs? I'm Charlie from Logs.io. In this video, we'll go through three simple steps to identify and filter out log data to cut costs, all while maintaining access to all of our logs if they're needed later. Let's begin by archiving our logs so we can still access anything we decide to filter out. To do this, let's go to the Archive and Restore tool and add the name of our S3 bucket along with our AWS credentials. After turning on archiving, all of our log data will be sent and stored to our S3 bucket, giving us the option to re-ingest and index whatever data we decide to filter out. In this demo environment, we're starting with 14 million logs. To get a clearer picture of which logs are impacting our costs, let's hit Log Patterns which clusters similar logs into manageable groups. Now we can easily see our most common log data and begin to figure out which logs are taking up too much space. It looks like about 18% of our log data are these proxy request logs. We won't need to look at these very often, so we shouldn't index them. To filter them out, we can add this pattern to our query, copy the log message, and add a job filter. The job filter will need to look at service 10 and the message field. And we'll paste the log message here. And just like that, we've removed all future proxy request logs from being indexed, and with that, about 18% of our logging costs. At any time, we can scroll down to this job filter and toggle it on or off to determine whether these logs should be indexed in Logs.io. This provides us with a single place to regulate the flow of logs on the fly to manage log volumes and costs, all while maintaining full observability into our systems.